I'm Sarah Ward, I'm a maritime archaeologist. So what's maritime archaeology? Well, it's the study of man's relationship with the sea through the things they've left behind. How did I become a maritime archaeologist? Well, that's um, an interesting one. And like every small child who grew up near the water, I had this absolute fascination with shipwrecks and treasure. Discovered Jacques Cousteau and thought that he was the man of my dreams and I would always want to do that. So in terms of what the process I guess the process that we would go through as a maritime archaeologist. One way is really just to start with your historical research. So when you're going through the archive and you've been there sometimes for days and you finally come across a document that gives you a little, a little hint of what's happened. So whether it's the, the landmark that the captain saw as the ship was going down, whether it's a sense of what had happened immediately prior to the wrecking, you can piece together their world as it was moments before it ended. So taking the boat out is probably one of the most exciting parts for me because you spend all this day researching it. Everyone's not sure about what they're going to find. So gearing up, it's a little bit like that. Everyone's a bit quiet. You just don't know what you're going to come across. Get in the water and inevitably, at least in the areas that I've worked, you never get good visibility. So it's dark, it's murky, it's cold, you can't really see where you're going, you can't see your buddy if you have one. And as you descend, that sense of nervousness or trepidation can get stronger until you see, you know, shape before you. And it's one of the most exciting things in the world because inevitably no one has been there in, you know, 100, 200, 300 or with some of the Roman ships for up to 2,000 years and it makes you feel quite quite small in a way like you're you're so insignificant because there's thousands of years or hundreds of years of history that's come before you and often people have lost their lost their lives i guess it's a privilege is the word that i'm trying to use you know not everybody gets the opportunity to, you know to do this and to help bring the past into the future and I'm